Hey guys, I want to do a quick video on how to disassemble and reassemble your Mossberg 500 for cleaning. Uh, it's a great shotgun, it's readily available at places like Big Five, it's not that expensive. Um, disassembly is pretty easy, but it's a lot easier if you've actually seen it done as opposed to trying to read the manual. I know when I first tried to take it apart, I ended up going on YouTube uh, to figure it out. So hopefully this helps you guys out. First step is like with any other firearm, make sure it's clear, which mine is. The other thing that's important is make sure your safety's on. Uh, this will be important when you're trying to reassemble, and I'll explain in a little bit. First thing you're going to do is put the bolt halfway into the ejection port. And then on the end, unscrew this. This will take your barrel off. And then the barrel will just come right off. Now that you got your barrel off, there's a little pin right here above the trigger. You can just take something like a pen, push that pin out, take it out, set it aside. You're going to lift your trigger housing assembly up and out. And then from there you got two metal pieces. Those are your cartridge stop and your cartridge interrupter. Uh, if one isn't coming out, move your forehand just a little bit so that it does come out. From there you got your bolt slide, which will just come up and out. From there you can slide your bolt out the front of the receiver. And then pinch here, take your elevator out, then pull the forehand off the front. There is your disassembled Mossberg 500 ready for cleaning. Alright, before I get back into reassembly, I'm going to kind of show you what the next step looks like. Um, so that way it'll be a little bit easier uh, to visualize it when you're putting it back together. Obviously the forehand is going to go back on the end here. And then your bolt slide is going to go into those little notches there. So that's what that looks like. Now from there, there's a little hook, and that hooks into right here on your bolt. Okay? And this will all make a little more sense in a second when I'm trying to show you um, what it looks like inside the receiver, because it's a little bit hard to videotape inside the receiver. It's a little dark in there. Alright, let's get back into reassembly. First off, stick the forehand back on the end. And that's just going to go on like that. And then you're going to pull down and slide it back in to the receiver. Next thing, you can put your elevator back in. I said earlier on, uh, make sure your safety is on. If your safety is off, it actually will get in the way of you trying to put the elevator back in. So make sure your safety is on. Just pinch, slide it back in and it'll go back into those holes. From there, you can stick your bolt back in, the prongs go out, and this little part goes towards the top, slide it in, and then you need to push down just a tiny bit in order to get it back into the receiver. So that's back in there. Now, I showed you just now what it should look like when you put the bolt slide back on. So the forend those little notches need to line up with that cut inside the receiver and then you're going to hook it into the bolt. Okay. And if you've done it correctly and you slide the bolt side, the forearm will move too. Alright, now we're going to put the cartridge stop and the cartridge interrupter back in. Uh, you'll see there's a little hole on the receiver, so obviously this goes in there. You just need to line it up inside the receiver. And then on this side, same thing. Alright, now here's kind of the, the other tricky part. Um, if you don't have these really, really flush against the wall of the receiver. It's a little hard. So what I like to do is I like to stick my fingers in like that and then apply outward pressure as I slide the trigger housing back on. 
and I just kind of slide it in like that. If you've lined it up properly, it'll pop right in. I had a lot of difficulty the first time I did that. I'm just going to put your pin back in. And then put your barrel back on just like that. And screw in on the end. Alright, and then if you've done it correctly, everything works.